Hi, if I could just take up a few minutes of your time, I'd just like to show you how easy it is to use a client comm system to set up and send out newsletters and to post articles and content to your social media pages and to your website. Now, if you could just have a look at the newsletter module, each month we upload six to eight articles um, and we also add in a newsletter already set up for you. Or you can create your own. You don't have to use any of the ones that we've set up. So your newsletter will look something like this with your logo at the top, um, some introductory welcome text underneath, and then the articles. Going back to here where the, the admin section is here is the newsletter. It's easy to edit the welcome greeting. You can add in links to web pages. You can add in links to uh, documents for them to download. But the important thing is that if a client does click on one of those links, it's tracked. And I'll show you that in a minute. So once you're happy with the welcome text, you can just click on select articles. And this is the library. Now there's hundreds in here, all categorized into different um, topics. So if you're looking for a particular article on a subject, you can just click on, say, pensions, click on search. There it is. And you just check the box to add it or uncheck it if you want to remove it. Now, basically, the newsletter is set up and ready to go. You might want to just think about the article that's presented first because it gets tends to get read the most. So that to get the biggest bang for your buck, you can just use the sort article function to move the articles up and down. So it's pretty simple to, to send out a newsletter like that one, but you can create your own, and that's, that's very simple. You click on Create a New Communication, you put in the title, you put in the heading, you select the date, and here you put in your welcome text, same as before. What, what you can do is then select articles, same as before, and sort articles. Then your newsletter that you've set up is ready to send out. You can send it out to hundreds, thousands um, at a time. There's no limit on the number of people you send it to. And it's very easy just to export the first name, surname, and email of the recipients from your contact database. And you can load it into mailing groups or just load it a, a full list up. Your newsletter then is basically ready to go. So if we go back to, say, that pre-prepared newsletter, it's just a matter of clicking on Send Out. You either choose to send it to everyone or one of your um, preset mailing groups and hit Continue. Now, once you've sent out any communication, there is a suite of reports that are available that will tell you um, what's bounced, um, a summary of uh, who's read the, the, the newsletter. But the important one, I think, is the article views report that will show you, give you a list of the articles that's in the newsletter, the number of people that have read each article, and the total number of times each article was read. Click on the article heading, and it'll give you the names of the people that have read the article. So this is very um, useful from a business development point of view. Now, I just quickly want to run through the sharing center with you. And this is where you can uh, share articles to your website or social media pages. So uh, again, you can see that the articles are all in their categories. You can click on either the article heading or the green view button, and you'll see the article appears in your branded template. Now, if you want to say share it to Facebook, it's just a matter of clicking on the share, clicking on post to Facebook. And then if we go to the Facebook page, I'll just refresh. And you can see the article is now on the Facebook page. If you have a look, the visit of the Facebook page, if they click to, to view the article, it takes them to your branded template to read it. Now, that's great. But uh, what I think is even better is if you have, uh, with your website, we can set it up so that the article will feed directly to your website. Now, in most cases, this can happen, but it really gets up to your web developer. We can, uh, with a client called develop site, it's all inbuilt. So this particular article goes up to the website. You can see that if we click on the article, 
it is listed under the your website URL, which is important. It's not a, a link to a third party site because it's important for search engine um, benefits. So if we if we go now and have a look at the Facebook page, the article's gone from the website to the Facebook page. And if you click on the article heading in Facebook, it drives the traffic back to your website to read. So with visitors to your Facebook or your social media pages, they click on that particular article, they're being taken back to your website. So that's a brief tour of the client comm system. I hope that um, you found it interesting. If you'd like a, a demo on how it all works, please contact us and uh, we'll send something out to you.